What are you? What's up all you can't wait for Endgame dudes and dudettes, Toy Shiz here, and thanks to Diamond Select, I got a really cool fresh look to give you guys today. They sent over a couple of figures, namely the Thor and Groot Marvel Select, and then the Infinity War Captain America Marvel Select as well, so I thought I'd rope them all into one and just do an all-out Infinity War goodness, especially with Endgame tickets coming out as of yesterday. So... I'm all excited for Endgame. We got new merchandise. I, I still love watching Infinity War on Netflix, man. That movie absolutely rocks. But do these figures rock as well? We're going to take a look at them all close up. This is the Marvel Select Thor and Groot 2 pack and the Marvel Select Captain America. And while I got you guys here, just want to say thanks so much for checking out my Infinity War figures review. If you like it, make sure to hit the like button. Also, be sure to subscribe because it's Endgame, baby, and we got a whole lot more Marvel figures to do. Now, first and foremost, let's start off with the Thor figure. And as you can see, all up close, it's actually not a bad head sculpt. He's got that Stan Lee haircut going on, which actually works pretty well, and it's how he actually showed up in Infinity War towards the end after he got his eye back from Rocket and whatnot. The head sculpt is, I guess, fairly crisp. It's, it's not too spot on, but it's decent enough. We'll just say compared to, oh, this guy over this guy over here, this one that we will get to. Costume's really nice. I don't like that they put this crackly electrical effects on his chest plates and then right here. It looks like it should be part of the costume, but it's not. So it doesn't really have that effect. It actually kind of looks like they were trying to do something else and then it just really didn't fly. But I do like the chainmail and everything else. It's a it's a nicely sculpted figure, I have to say, overall. And I do like this giant red cape. I think that's a really stark contrast between a blood red cape and then a really dark and silver figure. He's got articulation at the arms, single jointed, you know, wrist rotation, ab crunch, nothing at the waist. He just kind of swivels at the ab crunch. T joints out, kicks out, the cape hinders him from going back, and then he also has double jointed knees and ankle rocker. So there's just a couple things that are off. Namely, you do get a bunch of extra hands, but his hands are so like black washed that it looks dirty with the wash being overly done. As you can see, it, it just looks like he's dirty. It doesn't look like, see what I mean? It's it's a little bit too much. His brand new Stormbreaker though, that actually looks really cool and it came out awesome. I think that they nailed it on that. You can see all the little pieces of Groot that make up the handle. So in that sense, I think the dark wash works really well and I think they absolutely killed it on this. This is an excellent accessory. Accompanying him in the two pack is Groot. Now this little Groot right here is my favorite figure out of these three. Not only because he comes with a Game Boy, an actually really awesome little Game Boy, that's, that's, this is why I think I actually love this figure. He holds it so well, and this is actually a nice little Groot figure. A bummer though, he doesn't have any peg holes on the bottom of his feet. He is a little tough to stand in some sense, but he does have some good articulation. He's got double jointed knees, he's got swivel at the arms, single jointed elbow, and then he has some wrist rotation and an interesting ab crunch. The head is okay. You can't really look down and have him looking too good at the Game Boy in that sense, but he can look up and all that. But that's what I mean, though. This, this Groot nails it in terms of what he was doing in Infinity War. The one main hiccup I think I have with this figure is that he has a frowny face on. And for the most part in Infinity War, he was just kind of like a grumpy adolescent teen not once was he ever really sad in that sense. You know, maybe when he was going to help with Stormbreaker, it really wasn't like upset. So it's an odd facial expression, I think, to put on the figure. But as you can see, if you don't get him in the right pose, he is a little awkward to pose. So keep that in mind. And that's it, we're done with the review. No more figures to, <laughs> to look at. All right, you're gonna make me do this. Now, I have to say, this, this, this is not Chris Evans. I don't know who this is. This is like a homeless man that maybe acquired a Captain America costume or something. I don't know what it is about Chris Evans and his 
head sculpts with different action figures. I don't know who's okaying his action figures. I don't know why the likeness is always so off. I don't even think Hot Toys really got it. Yeah, I'm saying it. I, I just think that the, the portrait here just doesn't do him justice. He just, he looks like a man that's cosplaying for like a birthday party for Captain America. I don't know. It's... I gotta give it to him on the costume, though. I think overall they killed it in that sense. I think that this is a really nice-looking Captain America from Infinity War. Everything is sculpted really nicely. He's got some tattered parts right there of the chainmail. He comes with two different Wakandan shields, so I like that little bit of a paint hiccup on mine right there. And, of course, you can attach them. Just pop the wrist off and pop this gauntlet part off right here. Now, it's really simple to take off. You just take the hand off first, but this is painted nicely. All the accessories are painted rather nicely, and I'm glad that he comes with so many, but it's a weird thing because it comes with four pairs of hands, and it's the weirdest painted hands I've ever seen. I don't know if this is supposed to be flesh on top because it's not what it looks like in the actual movie. He has gloves on. So in that sense, it looks like it was supposed to be a different type of brown paint over the top, but it looks like flesh, and I, that paint job is just not good. In that sense, if it's supposed to be flesh, then why does he have those little rivet dot looking things? See the, the contrast of this? It, this figure is all over the place. I just can't recommend it in that sense. He does come with a really nice luscious green display base. But the problem is that you can't hook his feet into the peg holes because they're too tiny. It doesn't do anything. So this, I'm sorry to say, and I appreciate the figure and being able to show it off, but this one is kind of like a DOA figure right here. It's one of those times where I have to say, while it does have some okay things going for it, I like the base and it comes with a lot of accessories and hands. It's just not a very good figure. So in that sense, I'm gonna have to say sayonara to you, Cap. I wish you well, and I wish you well in Endgame because things aren't looking too good. So all jokes aside, Captain America is what it is, but I think you're gonna nail it home with this Thor and Groot set. I think it's really nice overall. A couple of hiccups and weird things with the Thor figure, but I think the Groot absolutely nails it, and I love this little figure. He's going right on my shelf next to my Game Boy. Everything else, I, I love this figure right here. Thor... Decent. <laughs> he just has weird things. A shout out again to Diamond Select for sending these toys over to me to review. I had a blast giving you guys a fresh look. What'd you guys think? Do you have any of these? Did you like the review? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk some Thor and Groot. Just forget we even talked about Captain America. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, would someone please get Chris Evans Someone that could tell him whether the figure looks like him or not and then get it okayed. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. <laughs>